Let's get back to the action and check in at the answer desk for the answers to the last round. Thanks. We're here at table 33, the Ernst & Young table. It's a full deck here. We got a lot of dudes. <laughs> I think they bought every celebrity in the building. These, uh, table 33 is the attention whore table of, of tonight. Anyway, let's get to uh, the questions here. Round number seven, question one. On May 2nd, 1954, Sam Husey became the first player to hit five home runs in a doubleheader, doing so against the New York Giants. What Hall of Fame pitcher gave up two of those homers? Gentlemen, do we know? The answer is Hoyt Wilhelm. We got our batting stance guy, Gar, back for our second round. Yeah. Yeah. Take your seat. By the way, uh, he has a book. Uh, the batting stance guy has a book. What's the name of the book? Batting Stance Guy, A Love Letter to Baseball. Batting Stance Guy has a book and he called it Batting Stance Guy. A Love Letter Based to Baseball. Based on the novel Push by Sapphire. <laughs> <laughs> Question two, in August of 1962, Stan got his 3,421st hit to break the National League record for most career base hits. Whose record did he break? All the footage is in real fast motion. And he's the answer to the trivia question, what's the most expensive baseball card ever made? <laughs> Honest there Wagner. It is. Honest Wagner. Honest Wagner, correct. Even though he has been retired for 47 years, Stan is still second all time in total bases with 6,134. Who is first? All right, I'm gonna need a little help from the Sklar brothers on this one. And what happens is after Al Downing pitches this pitch, this guy hits it, finishes high, and then when he takes his triumphant trot around the okay, bases, I know. there are two people, one of them in a suit, that meet him up here. Yeah. Hey, get away from me, get away from me, get away from me. The answer is? Hank Aaron. Hank Aaron. That's right. right. Back when there was no security and anyone could run on the field. That was not rehearsed. Question number four. Stan is currently ranked 28th all time in home runs with 475. What other Hall of Famer is tied with the man at 475? Who is it? I know there's a lot of people that were alive in the 70s and the 60s. Oh, Pops. Oh, Pops. Right, it's We Are Family Pops, R.I.P. Chuck Tanner. It is Willie Stargell. Willie Stargell. Oh, question number five is our tiebreaker question. Gar, we got a couple for you to do here. After being named the National League MVP in 1948, Stan finished second in the MVP balloting for the next three seasons. Name one of the three players who earned the National League award from 1949 to 1951. All right, well, the main footage you see of this guy is and there will never be another number 42 worn after Mariano Rivera retires. Number one is Jack Robinson. Yeah. Number two, everybody knows this answer. Matt, what is it? Roy Campanella. Who's the other one? Jim Constanti. Jim Constanti. <laughs> you don't know that one, Gar? You know what, Jim Costanti. Let's see, let's see that batting stance. Just right off the tongue. It was. <laughs> yeah, Jim Costanti. Yeah, let's see you do. Let's see how good you really are. I think he was George Costanza's dad. Yeah, it was. It was. He hit more like George Hendrick. Yeah, George <laughs> Hendrick. There's George Hendrick. <laughs> Gar is like a real life cartoon. <laughs> Question number six. Stan's career lasted 22 years, from 1941 to 1963. In how many All-Star games did he play during his career? Guys, anyone that's on that iconic statue in front of Bush Stadium? It is a... It's 24. Do stand, do stand. Stand usual, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. <laughs> Round of applause there, fellas. Question number seven, Stan won seven National League batting titles during his career, the most ever by a Cardinal. What Cardinal player is second on the list, leading the league six times while wearing a Cardinal uniform? This guy later went on to write Mandolin Rain, The Way It Is, just did a bluegrass album with Ricky Skaggs, how to ban the range. What's the answer? Wait, wait a minute, Gar. That's a Rogers Hornsby. Rogers Hornsby. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Rogers Hornsby. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no relation to Bruce. That's a no. different. Question number eight. What year was Stan inducted into the National Baseball Hall of Fame? 1969. 1969. Why would he go? Why was he a first ballot? Did you guys get that? 
33, got it, good job. Question number nine, Stan Hales from Panora, Pennsylvania. What future Major League Baseball Hall of Famer is also from Denora? The answer is, he has a, kind of a bit of a shelf <laughs> where you could like set a book. Mil Thompson. No, Mil Thompson was more like this. Oh yeah, Ken Griffey Jr. Now, now no. you can also do Ken Griffey Jr. by taking a nap in the back <laughs> while the show, because he's sleeping while the Griffey, show's going on. Griffey's a little bit like this. Yeah, oh, there it is. <laughs> now run up the wall. All right, finally, let's nice wrap up nice round number seven nice by throwing it back up to the big board, Stan and Brian Schwarzy. George Brett. That's right, George Brett. Thanks to all the Stan and Man fans, and good luck. And by the way, this is how good Gar Rhinus is. He actually, he's gotten hemorrhoids for this impression. That was more of his. Pine tar. Pine tar. Come out of the thing, pine, pine tar, tar incident. Pine tar pine and hemorrhoids. Tar hemorrhoids. Right. hemorrhoids. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Gar. Gar Rhinus. The guy. Pick up his book.